שבעה שבועות לא יצאנו הביתה. זה היה ברפיע. וכל כך התגעגעתי הביתה שביקשתי מאימא שלי שתכתוב מכתב שאבא שלי נקי דם. האמת שהוא היה מאוד חולה, אבל רציתי שהיא תגזים. ושחררו אותי לכמה שעות. אני לא יודע איך החזקתי מעמד שם בכלל. אני לא מאמין, אני לא מאמין שעשיתי את זה. The segment of Europe, it's a metaphor that was used to describe the collapse of the Ottoman Empire in the Middle East in uh, the end of the 19th century. And it, it's a metaphor that I used to describe this ongoing project, to describe these five individuals that are literally considered by Western standards as being sick. The segment of Europe, the painter, is the first part of an ongoing research exhibition. Uh, the first part obviously opens here at the ICA in London and it focuses on one individual that was born in Tunisia and immigrant to Israel in the 50s. He was a painter. Uh, well, he wanted to be a painter, but because he was uh, recruited to Israeli army and participated in the 1973 war, the Yom Kippur War, he was uh, diagnosed with a post-traumatic disorder and after the war he just completely stopped painting. So in a way, this exhibition brings to light his painting, his drawings, his photographs. This painter was very much influenced by European painters. Uh, obviously, he didn't have any kind of access to the real uh, painting and sculptures, but uh, he saw in a magazine, in art magazine, how they used to paint in Europe. And he just kind of copied the style and uh, the techniques from what he saw. I think what's interesting if we look at the works that even though he copied the style, the object that he took, uh, the, the object that he painted were uh, very local, like the olive trees or the mosque and the churches. The only painting that he did after 1973 war was a drawing of uh, military boots. And we have the date, uh, 1974, and his signature. Diggez. And yes, we share the same initials, but uh, the same family names, but it is a completely different person. Each painting of him was scanned. Uh, I call it a scanogram. Uh, it's a process of uh, multi-layered scanning that uh, supposed to expose, like an X-ray, the materiality of each painting. And then it reveals the history of the painting. So in a way, a scanogram relates both to the image that we can see, but also to the history of the image as an object. If we look, for example, on this painting, you can really see the layers, you can see the mold that is eating the, the, the material. But if uh, you compare it to the original that is right over here in uh, one of the vitrines, you can see there is a real difference between the two. And I think that the, if you want to really experience the show, you have to see the video and then come back to the space with the vitrines and the scanograms, because I think the video shed lights on the, on the vitrines, on the materials. In the space between the 20 minute video, the segment of Europe, the painter, and the room of the vitrines and the scanogram, there is a small space uh, with one chair and one TV with one set of headphones. And it's a video, three hours video, based on a recording of conversations between the painter and his psychiatrist. And I think this is the only way to really understand history, is to think about individuals, to see, to dig into their personal life. And I think that basically as an artist, I'm a storyteller, that basically what I do, I'm taking this these stories, the very personal stories, and try to bring them to public uh, platforms like exhibition spaces.